Hello everyone, welcome back. So today is going to be a video that I didn't know if I wanted to make or not, but I asked on Instagram and a lot of you guys wanted to see it. Um, so today we are going to be doing an updated version of the video that I did from last year, which was my entire K-pop collection of 2019. So this is kind of like a continuation of my photo card video where it's just like going over exactly what I have um, from the entire year um, in terms of albums and light sticks and everything um, like that. Alrighty, so to start this video, we are gonna be showing my albums. I also wanted to mention in no way am I trying to brag about my collection or anything. Um, this is just something that I thought would be interesting to show um, so that at the end of next year I can see how my collection has grown. So I do have all three versions of AL1. And for the CD plates I have Minghao, Mingyu, and Sungkwan. There he is. I do have both versions of Director's Cut, and I'll show you the CD plates that I have for these albums. I have Sungjul, as well as Minghao. So next, I do have all four versions of Teenage. Sorry for the glare. So next we do move down in size. I have both the versions of love and letter. So I have the love version and the letter version. This is so pretty. I love the hollow. So next I do have all five versions of an ode. So I have begin, the poet, hope, truth, and real. The next biggest album I have is Going 17, where I have the Make a Wish version, the Make It Happen version, and Make the 17. Next, I do have the debut album. This is honestly the worst packaging I have ever seen. If you can see all those scratches and bumps and stuff. But, you know, it got them where they are now. The next tallest album we have is Boys B, which I do have both versions of. Well, I'll switch it around. I have the Hide and the Seek version. I do have the Love and Letter repackage album. I do not have the big version with the DVD and everything, but I really like this version of the album, so I have it. Next, I do have all six of the You Make My Day, You Made My Dawn series. Um, I do have them all mixed up just so that I can show the little display. There we go. So that I can show the little display on my shelf. Um, I have it all mixed up, but this is You Made My Dawn, You Made My Dawn, You Make My Day, and You Made My Dawn. This is the first Kino album that I have bought from Seventeen. I do have the An Ode Kino album because I love the beret pictures in it, so. Finally, I do have Seventeen's um, We Make You album and Happy Ending. So I have the We Make You Limited A, the Happy Ending Limited A and B. So those are all the 17 albums that I have. So moving on, we do have my old girl group. We have From Us Nine, their first mini album, To Heart. I have the blue version and the green version, the exclusive Jisun cover. But with this one, you can change the cover. So I have Jihan as she is my old. Next, we have their second mini album. We have Two Day. So we have the D minus one and the D Day version, I believe. I do have three copies of From Nine. I used to have more, but this is actually the downsized version. <laughs> Finally, for their regular albums, I do have their first single album. So I have two copies of the fun version and two copies of the factory version. I do have all three of From Us Nine's 
Kino albums. So I do have the From Nine Kino and the fun version of Fun Factory, as well as the factory version of Fun Factory. Moving on to the newest addition to my collection, I do have One Us. I have their debut album, Light Us. Look at this amazing packaging. I mean, come on, we stand. Following that amazing packaging, we do have their second mini album. We have Raise Us, the Twilight and the Dawn version. They are both absolutely beautiful. I mean, like, look at this, like, beauty. Just absolutely stan. Finally, we have their newest album, Fly With Us, where you can see the fly with us. So that is all the albums that I do have at the end of 2019. So we'll go ahead and move into the kind of other section of my collections. So we'll go ahead and get into that. So I wanted to start with the light sticks that I do have. I do have both versions of the 17 light stick. We'll go ahead and get into them. My version one light stick. I've used this, I believe, three times. And then I do have my version two Carabong, which I have yet to use, but will be using soon at O2U in LA. This is just like a random extra that I do have that I wanted to show. I have 17's um, version one carrot bong case, but you can actually use this for the second one. It does fit. And then Promise do not have a light stick yet, but I do have their mini pen light. This was from today and it does have a decal on it from Barry Bond Shop. So yes, I have used this three times as well. Next, I do want to move into my more special items. So we are going to talk about my fan sign slots. I do have a few. This is my first Jihan one. This is my Serum one. Both of those are from, from Nine. This is my Jihan signed Fun Factory one. Um, fun fact, I do have a, another one. It just has not um, arrived to me yet. So hopefully in the new year that will get to me. Also, I have some slogans that I would like to show you guys. This is my debut From Us 9 slogan. This is from To Heart era. And it says From Us 9 with their debut logo on it as well as all their names, and on the back, it just says Two Heart. The next few slogans that I have are fan-made, so this is my Soyon slogan, and on the back it does say Lee Soyon. As well, I do have a Jihan slogan, and on the back, obviously, it says Bek Jihan. Moving into some of the slogan-ish things that I got from KCON, I do have the slogan banner kind of thing. It's more like a little fabric banner that you're supposed to put up as a poster. I also impulsively bought two of the KCON slogans. And on the back it says, let's KCON. Obviously, you can tell who I bought next. I bought the Fromis version. It says the same thing on the back. It just says, let's cake on. So moving on, I wanted to show my signed album collection. So I do have a June signed version of You Made My Dawn, as well as a jong -un signed version of You Make My Day. I do have a signed version of Two Heart. This is a promo copy, which is why it is to someone else, but I love this album so much, I had to get it. Next, I do have a promo signed version of Two Day. It is a little bit sun bleached, so that is really sad, but I do have it. I do have a copy of From Nine signed that I am planning to have shipped to me eventually, but it's not here yet, so I can't show you that. I do, however, have both versions of 
Fun Factory signed, and this one is absolutely the most special thing in my whole collection, I would say, one of them at least, um, because it does have a message from Jihan in it. Um, I won a contest on M-Wave and um, I wrote a letter to her and she responded back to me, so it's super special to me. I do have Seventeen's third generation carrot kit, as well as their fourth generation carrot kit. So I only have these two because I became a carrot during third generation, but I love them both so much. As well as the carrot kits, I do have Seventeen's 2019 Seasons Greetings, and I am getting my 2020 Seasons Greetings in the mail in probably a week or so. Last but not least, I do have some special Polaroids. So this is a Polaroid of me and Fromis, um, excluding Geary because she was in Produce 48. But this was at KCON 2018 LA, and I was lucky enough to win a chance to take a Polaroid with them. Finally, I do have um, four very special Polaroids to me. Um, not sure if I want to show them. Maybe I'll flip them over real soon. These are some of my Polaroids, as well as these ones. And finally, last but not least, I do have some pins. These are just little pins that I have gotten from KCON in the past. I got this one at 2018 KCON LA. This one was a KCON Japan exclusive pin, as well as KCON New York. So that was it. That was my entire um, K-pop collection of 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, <laughs> That was, um, that was definitely a lot of things to pull out and now I have to put them all back. Like, like, look at all this stuff. I have to put all of this back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my, uh, struggle of showing you my entire K-pop collection. I really hope this doesn't come off as bragging. I'm just really excited to show you guys how my collection has grown this year compared to my video of last year. I hope that my collection grows a fair bit in the near future, in 2020. I hope you guys all have a great new year, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!